Good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer for Thursday the 6th of October. I'm Reverend Nicole from the Parish of Cessnock. It's a privilege to pray with you this evening. If you're following along in your prayer book, our service begins on page 410. The psalm for tonight is Psalm 88 and it begins on page 313. And tonight we hear from Matthew's Gospel. Tonight also we remember William Tyndall, a biblical scholar. And as we begin our evening prayer, we acknowledge the ongoing custodianship of the First Nations people who first walked the land on which our diocese meets and ministers and worships. We pay our respects to the Awabakal, Biripai, Darkingyun, Giwagal, Garigal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples, to their elders past, present and emerging. We commit ourselves to working for reconciliation and respect among all people. Let us pray together. The Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and exalt and give God the glory. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I invite you to say with me the opening canticle, A Song of Joy. Be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who has made us and we are his. For we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good. His loving kindness is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. The Psalm 88. O Lord, my God, I call for help by day, and by night also I cry out before you. Let my prayer come into your presence, and turn your ear to my loud crying. For my soul is filled with trouble, and my life has come even to the brink of the grave. I am reckoned among those that go down to the pit. I am as one who has no help. I lie among the dead, like the slain that sleep in the grave, whom you remember no more, who are cut off from your power. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness and in the watery depths. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and all your waves are brought against me. You have put my friends far from me and made me to be abhorred by them. I am so fast in prison I cannot get free. My eyes fail because of my affliction. Lord, I call to you every day. I stretch out my hands toward you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will the shades rise up again to praise you? Shall your love be declared in the grave or your faithfulness in the place of destruction? Will your wonders be made known in the dark or your righteousness in the land where all things are forgotten? But to you, Lord, will I cry. Early in the morning, my prayer shall come before you. O Lord, why have you rejected me? Why do you hide your face from me? I have been afflicted and wearied from my youth upward. I'm tossed high and low, I cease to be. Your fierce anger has overwhelmed me and your terrors have put me to silence. They surround me like a flood all the day long. They close upon me from every side. Friend and acquaintance you have put far from me and kept my companions from my sight. God, our Saviour, 
You sent Jesus into the world of sin and delivered him up to death for us. Kindle in our hearts the same love with which he loved his own to the end, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now, reading from the scriptures is from Matthew's Gospel. It's chapter 12, beginning at the ninth verse. Jesus left that place and entered their synagogue. A man was there with a withered hand, and they asked him, Is it lawful to cure on the Sabbath? So that they might accuse him. He said to them, Suppose one of you has only one sheep and it falls into a pit on the Sabbath. Will you not lay your hold of it and lift it out? How much more valuable is a human being than a sheep? So it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and it was restored as sound as the other. But the Pharisees went out and conspired against him how to destroy him. When Jesus became aware of this, he departed. Many crowds followed him and he cured all of them and he ordered them not to make him known. This was to fulfil what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved with whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not wrangle or cry aloud. And will anyone hear his voice in the streets? He will not break a bruised reed or quench a smouldering wick until he brings justice to victory. And in his name, the Gentiles will hope. Let us take a moment to reflect on our readings. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. I invite you to say with me the canticle, the song of Christ's glory. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Faithful God, you have surrounded us with a great cloud of witnesses. Grant that we, encouraged by the example of your servant William Tyndall, may persevere in running the race that is set before us, until at last with him we may obtain to your eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this day and for all that it has held for each of us. We pray for the people with whom we have shared our day. 
We give thanks for the things we have been able to achieve and offer them to you and for your glory. We ask that you would hold those things that we have not completed. We pray for your people throughout the world, for people in places where war and oppression, where hunger and homelessness abound. We pray that those who are responsible and have the authority for making decisions for others would be inspired by you to work for the common good and care for the most needy. We pray for refugees who flee their home. We pray for refugees who find no home in other places. We pray for those who choose to stay and pray for their safety. And most importantly, we pray for peace for all people. We pray for your church throughout the world, where it is ignored, where it is persecuted, and in places where we enjoy the freedom to worship you. We pray that one day all people would be able to worship you without fear, and that you would draw us together to be one people. We give thanks for the ministry of our diocese, for the privilege we have to minister in your name. We pray for our bishops, Peter, Sonia and Charlie, giving thanks for their ministry among us and their leadership of us. May they always be an example for us to follow. We pray for the parishes of our diocese, and in particular tonight, we pray for the clergy and people of the parishes of Morpeth, Mararundi, Curry Curry, Mount Vincent and Weston. We pray for our schools and tonight particularly for the staff, students and their families and the school chaplains of Bishop Teal Anglican College. We pray too for Samaritans and for Anglican care, for their staff and all whom they support. We pray for those people who are isolated, those who are lonely or sick, for people in nursing homes and hospitals and respite care, for those who are on the streets. We pray for all people who are sick, for those who are depressed or anxious, for people waiting for test results or recovering from surgeries. And we pray for all who care for them, for doctors, nurses, families and friends. We pray that your healing hand would reach out across the world and heal all in need. We pray too for families who mourn. And we commend to your loving care all those who have died this day. And as the evening come, we offer to you ourselves and ask your blessing upon us, in Jesus' name. Amen. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest on your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. God bless. Have a beautiful evening.